always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. We began the day with well, bright blue sky out there, some frosty conditions and quite cold temperatures all the way down in the teens. You have to go all the way back to February 4th to have a morning as cold as we had, but then clouds came in. And for you keen uh, weather observers looking to the sky, usually the first signs of a system coming in is a thickening of the high and mid-level clouds. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now. Storm Track Live radar dry. We're going to make it through the overnight period dry, but this radar is going to look a whole lot different tomorrow at this time. Temperatures right now with a south wind, even with the clouds coming in, all the way up to the mid 40s in most locations. And generally, everybody in the state, lower Michigan and, and even the UP, have temperatures in the 40s right now. So 24 temperature change. If you thought it's a little bit warmer, you're exactly right. By 7 degrees in Grand Rapids, 10 in Kalamazoo, 11 in Holland. And that south wind will maintain that tonight. And with a cloud cover kind of acting like a blanket, it's certainly going to be a much milder night out there. We will not be scraping any frost tomorrow morning. Here's kind of a broad view of the infrared satellite radar composite. You can see those clouds even thicker to the west of us and those are moving in, but again dry. That changes tomorrow. Area of low pressure is going to make a track right over lower Michigan and it's going to bring the moisture in and it's going to be in the form of rain. It looks like later tomorrow afternoon, certainly tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, a solid 100% chance of rain. This cold front is going to march through really quick, so the warmest temperatures, well daytime highs, well, actually occur just after midnight on Thursday night, early Friday morning, then falling temperatures very quickly into the 30s. And I think by the end of uh, Friday, St. Patrick's Day, we're going to have to deal with some snow showers. We'll see a few snowflakes out there, especially during the evening hours. The bulk of the snow on Friday is going to be generally to the north. But once this trough pivots through Friday night into Saturday morning and Saturday, uh, we're going to see some bona fide decent lake effect snow showers. Rainfall future cast backtrack a little bit. It looks like most areas will pick up around a half an inch to three quarters of an inch of rain. Then we have to transition back to winter mode, and that's going to be not just snow showers, but I think we're going to have wind chill te temperatures. Uh, looks like St. Patrick's Day evening in the 20s, and when we wake up on Saturday morning, likely in the upper single digits and also in the teens. So it's going to feel like bona fide winter around here on Saturday, and I do expect some accumulating snow out there. Uh, some areas, especially south of Grand Rapids, you could see about one to three inches. Okay, here's the eight-day forecast featuring that quick return to winter, rebounding a little bit uh, over the weekend on Sunday with temperatures still on the chilly side in the mid-30s, but at least the sunshine returns, and it looks like it's going to stick around into next week. That 50 looks pretty nice, especially after what we'll have to endure on Saturday. Yeah, welcome to the eight-day 50. <laughs> yeah, <Ooh. laughs> all over the place. There's March. Yep. Thanks, Matt.